You know something? Pray it hard. I really appreciate it, Ted. It was... It, the prayers were hard. I, I mean, I was pleading yeah, well, I was, with the Almighty, get him out of there. Yeah, I was, get him out of there. He made a mistake. Get him out of there and put him out on bail. Yeah, exactly. This is not where he's supposed to be. Now, yeah. now, when I heard the news, I said, wow, this is unbelievable. And I heard it when uh, I was at the track last Friday, so I missed it by two days. Right. And I went nuts. And then all the guys around me, the Duke and the Dish and so on, they all started singing. Hava Nagila Hava. They were all singing the Hebrew and song that you were. In this my heart. <laughs> 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 How's it going, pal? Oh, my gosh. You need to hear from me, Ted. I'm this, 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 me this makes my night. I'm back in the gym there. I've been in the gym for the last few days, and I'm telling you, it's, it's, uh, it's hard. I heard that. Yeah, I'm like, uh, you know, I put on like 12, 15 pounds too much right now. So yeah. I'm on a special diet, and yeah. I sport eight rounds today, and. Uh, Boy, do I feel it, you know? So, so you're 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 uh, now with a new promoter? Yeah, well, I signed um, four fights with Henry Spitzer, my father and I. Good. And uh, like I said, you know, I mean, um, Henry knows you since you were a kid. Yeah, and, and he's fair. I mean, these other guys, I mean, I, I think they're turning boxing into uh, a wrestling thing. You know, I mean, they're talking about fighting Bonnie again and Willette again. I mean, how many times? Does uh, Willette? Ah, you know, I mean, it's a pleasure for me to do it, but uh, I got nothing against bottomy. But now, but now the uh, the word came out that uh, the the uh, uh, fight against uh, the, for the for some sort of world championship is over. That's been canceled or something. Well, the, first of all, they have talked about uh, about me fighting Daddy for uh, first of all it was Lucas. Lucas is 170 pounds. I'm 157 pounds. Yeah. So anyway, I said, look, I'll I'll come up to maybe 62, 63. Yeah. I mean. I've been off six months, and I don't think I weigh 160 pounds. You know, I'm no, so, no. You know, all the ones you weigh, but um, I, I, I really think uh, I mean, Interbox. I mean, it, I mean, they put they had some good good shows in that, but um. Well, you 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 filled the Molson Center for them. Yeah, twice. You filled it for them twice, and when you were away for violation of bail, that's when Stefan, who's a nice guy, I'm sure that you agree, right? Sure, he's sure, a gentleman. Sure, he's a gentleman. You know, and so he decided to come out. While you were away, yeah, sure. He wanted to make his comeback, and then yeah, he he, he decided to make a comeback while 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 you're incarcerated illegally. And and wasn't fight me, but I'm in jail, you know. Yeah, I'm out now, though. I know. Well, he better retire again. Yeah, he better retire again. Exactly. Now, now, uh, so you you went in because of a violation of bail. Yeah, I, I, I broke my conditions. Uh, okay, now what happened? That I was in a taxi, and and the the the, 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 the police pulled over the taxi driver, supposed to be for a burnt light, and then they look in the back seat and goes, "And what's your name?" You know? Yeah. I said, "Well, you know my name, you know." I'm, you know but I've always been at eleven o'clock. Right, right. And it was yeah. like eleven fifteen, and I was eleven o'clock is a is a deadly curfew to have, and that's and that's what I said that that the 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 the. the uh, the the problem with 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 the bail conditions was too tough for any human being like you or like me. I mean, to be in by eleven o'clock is because, very no, because I'm training. If I wasn't you're training, in training, so, so, training, so I'm in bed by by eleven anyway. So so, so, so but I wasn't it, training then, you know. If you're in training, it, <laughs> no, but if you're in training. What if you're not home by eleven o'clock? What if it's eleven fifteen and you're in a taxi? They they didn't catch you. Eleven o one. Eleven o one. I figured I was doing good business. Well, at least I, at least I'm not drinking and driving. For that, me. I take that, a cab home. You know. That's right. <laughs> but that's well, okay. So so how how was this uh, finally? Is there an appeal for for? For bail, obviously there is because well, we didn't appeal, and we wouldn't appeal because, like, like the um, judge said, I mean, I mean, she said, um, "David's not any uh, danger to the society. The only danger to is himself." And I mean, the guy took a taxi home and it was maybe five, ten minutes, like over eleven o'clock, you know. Right. So you know. Yeah, because there, because the, yeah, you see, because, because, because there's a lot of people out there that read the media and they, and, and they don't know half their story. They don't know half their story, but they start reading with the papers, and the papers carry what they want. You know. Of course, that's why I was praying so hard for you because, you see, you can't fool around with the Almighty. No. So when I'm saying this, I mean, I'm not fooling around when I, I say this. No, no, I'm, I'm telling the people that, the, 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 not because I'm talking to Davy Hilton. Uh, 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 am I saying this? This has got to be the truth, or lightning's going to strike me. Yeah. Understand? So. What 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 I I figured that there was no way that you should be incarcerated. And I kept saying that, that there are better better people on the street than than there are who are locked up. Now why? And now I'm glad that this is all straightened out. 
I would like to, you, well, I, I, I think I'll go to court and think, I, I, well, like, um, I'd like to come to your show there and, like, explain the whole thing. Like, like people only got half the story, but, you know, it, it's a member of the family. Like, you know, it's, it's between me and my wife and, that's right. you know, and it, it's been going on, like, for a year. So, anyway, she heard, like, she was in Miami and I was in Montreal for a few months, you know? Right. And then from one thing to the other thing, and then jealousy set in, and I'm going to ruin your career set in, and then, you know, I can't really discuss it right now because it's going to court, and I don't want to make any mistakes saying things that. That's right. You know. That's right. But it, you know. I know it. it it's a, a, I know that it's a. Do- make it sound incredible. I know. Yeah. I know. It's a domestic dispute, and I'll tell you, most of the people have no idea even what you, even know. what you're talking about no, right I now. I know. I know. But that's where like. Uh, and that's the way it's got to be kept. Yeah, that, that's right, Ted. Yeah. Be, because it is before the courts, and they have no idea. And I'll tell you, nobody's talking about it. Yeah. Nobody is talking to me about it, and and uh, if they were, they'd be talking to me because they know I know the family, the Elton years. family, you for years and years and years, family. and I'm part of your family. It's funny because I was talking to my father tonight, my father and mother, and he said, it's funny, it seems it when people pray for you, like it seems it seem like it's stronger, you know? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but you know, it, I don't know why. It's but bizarre, the, but you know. Well, when, when I heard the news two days later, yeah. I didn't get it on Wednesday. Yeah. You see, and when I got it on, on Friday, it was I was at Blue Bonnets, and I let out a yell. I'll tell you, yeah. and, and then all the guys started singing Havana Gila. <laughs> Italian guys, Greek guys, everybody was singing a Hebrew song. The way you sing it, it's unbelievable. One of these days, I'm going to come down and sing the whole song in Hebrew for you, Ted. Well, it, it'll, it'll have to be soon because I've only got one more week to go on, on this radio station. What a mistake they're making. On this radio what station. But I'm going on the web, and I'm trying to get another radio station. Yeah, well, if you go on a radio station or if you go on the web, but first of all, all I have is a grade 5 education in school, so I don't know how... I'm going to get a computer if you go into the web, but I don't know how I'm, I'm going to learn how, how, how to go on a computer. I haven't got a clue. I can tell you that there are guys with PhD who have no idea how to work a computer. Well, I'm but, one of them, so I don't but, but, and I'm one of them, too. And all you have to do is call an eight-year-old in off the street, oh, and then they'll hook it up for you. Oh, it's incredible. incredible. <laughs> Davey, right. I, I, I'm going to uh, say good night to you, okay. okay? But I'm going to put you on hold, and if you would leave your home number, okay? Okay, because you know how to reach me. Yeah, definitely. All right? Okay. And so then we can be in communication. I just want to say uh, to the people in any ways, Ted, that, that our family love you, and like so many people out there love you, and I'll tell you one thing, you're a real true blue person. You're, you're, you're straight from the heart. That's all I can say. So are you. You know, I love you. So are you, Davey. All right, Ted, I'll hang on for you. Thank you very, very much for calling. Okay, Ted. That is uh, Davey Hilton. Whoops, did I lose him? No? Okay. Okay. That is Davey Hilton, and that is a very, very pleasant surprise. I wasn't kidding. I had a lot of people praying hard, hard, because I, I, I didn't think it was right. Eleven o'clock for a curfew for for a grown man, and what if it's eleven o one, and the guy's in training, and you're coming home by taxi. He's not driving his own car, smart enough to take a taxi. Taxi driver has a light out, stopped by the cops, and who are you in the back? As if they don't know. He, he's, he's, everybody knows Dave Hilton, and that was it. But. He's well represented. Uh, he's well represented by by uh, counsel, and um, you 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 have to be well represented, even with a even even with a parking ticket. I wouldn't walk into a court attempting to fight a parking ticket without an outstanding attorney, because you're dead on the on on the wire. Seven nine zero zero six hundred, and I've told this to Guy Jutra. When the day comes and Davy walks out of that courtroom, a lot of a lot of people are going to say, "Well, we we knew that he was not he was not guilty of as as charged." But people don't even know what the story is because there is no story. It's a domestic dispute, and uh, that's that's about all that we can say. Let's go to Bob. Bob, right now. Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. Yeah, how you doing? Bob, that's a tough act to follow. Yeah, Davey Hilton. Wow. Pretty tough to follow, Davey Hilton, but but yeah. but but it, but it's great because I know you're a fan. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. am. Actually, there was a couple of people there that they were always saying, "Who are you going for there?" And uh, you know, they were they were they they were this well, this one particular person was going for uh, Bonami. <laughs> I was going for uh, 